Hi guys, today we're going to make a delicious blackberry dessert. It's a pine tree crumble with homemade blackberry chocolate, blackberry and basil ice cream, crispy meringue, and a blackberry and basil broth. So, let's begin. First, the blackberry broth. Start by mixing 800 grams of frozen blackberries with 80 grams of sugar. Now cover this well with plastic wrap. Then cook it on a double boiler for 3 to 4 hours. After that, remove the wrap and let the liquid drain on a sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper. Do this in your fridge. Once drained, transfer the blackberry pulp on a silicon sheet and spread it. Now let this completely dry at 60 degrees Celsius. Then transfer it into a blender and blend it into a fine powder. Now for the blackberry chocolate. First melt 200 grams of cocoa butter on a low heat. Then pour it into a wet grinder and while grinding add 100 grams of sugar, 100 grams of milk powder and 90% of the blackberry powder. Save the remaining powder for later. Now let the chocolate grind for at least 6 hours till silky smooth. Meanwhile let's make the meringue. First pour 80 grams of sugar in a saucepan and also add 30 grams of water. Now heat this up till it's 118 degrees celsius. Meanwhile pour 50 grams of egg white in a bowl and start beating it. Once a white foam starts to form, add 15 grams of sugar to stabilize the egg white. And slowly add the hot sugar syrup and continue mixing it till it's at room temperature and it has stiff peaks. Then transfer it into a piping bag fitted with a small round nozzle. Now pipe small dots on a silicon sheet. Once done, take your remaining blackberry powder and dust a thin layer on top. Then let them dry at 60 degrees celsius for a couple of hours. Then let them cool down and gently remove them from the sheet. Now keep them dry and covered for later. Then for the pine tree syrup. Pour 500 grams of sugar into a pan together with 150 grams of water. Now bring this to a boil. Meanwhile transfer 200 grams of young pine tree shoots in a preserving jar. When the sugar has boiled, pour it into the preserving jar as well. Then close it up and let it marinate for at least 12 hours. The longer, the more flavor the syrup will have. Now for the sablé cookie. Pour 100 grams of flour into a bowl. Also add 40 grams of icing sugar, 15 grams of almond powder, 15 grams of beaten egg, 55 grams of butter and 2 grams of flaky salt. Now knead this into a nice dough. Then transfer it onto a silicon sheet and put another sheet on top. Roll it till it's about 2 to 3 mm thick. Now let the dough set in your fridge for 1 hour. After that remove the top sheet and cut the dough with a big round cutter. Then remove the trimmings and cut the rounds in two. Bake them at 160 degrees celsius for around 25 minutes till golden. Once baked, let them cool down and then grate the flat side with a thin grater to make it even more tight. Now for the blackberry gel. Weigh 200 grams of the blackberry broth in a saucepan and also add 2 grams of agar powder. Mix this well and then bring it to a boil for 1 minute. Then pour it into a bowl and let it cool down completely in your fridge. Once chilled, transfer it into a blender and blend it into a smooth gel. Now transfer it into a piping bag and keep it in your fridge for later. Then the blackberry and basil ice cream. First pour 750 grams of blackberries in the blender together with 300 grams of sugar, 75 grams of lime juice and 8 grams of basil leaves. Now blend this till completely smooth. Then pass it through a fine sieve into an ice cream machine. Use a ladle to make it a bit easier. Now spin it into a beautiful ice cream. Once that's done, let it set for around 1 hour in your freezer. Then take the remaining blackberry broth and add a couple of crushed basil leaves for seasoning. Let this marinate for a couple of hours. After that, pass it through a fine sieve and pour it into your desired mold. Let it freeze till solid. By now the chocolate is also beautiful and silky, so we can take it out of the grinder. Then remove the blackberry rings from the mold and using toothpicks or pins, cover them quickly with a thin layer of the blackberry chocolate. Keep them in your fridge for later. Now for the pine tree cremeux. First soak 2 leaves or 3.3 grams of gelatin in cold water. Then take the pine tree syrup and transfer some in a measuring jar. 
Now pass it through a fine sieve and weigh 100 grams of the syrup in a saucepan. Also add 150 grams of cream, 40 grams of egg yolk and 10 grams of cornstarch. Now mix it well and while stirring cook it to the desired thickness. Then dissolve your gelatin. After that fill your desired mold with the creme and let it set in your freezer. Then transfer 200 grams of cocoa butter in a saucepan and melt it on a low heat. Once melted add 200 grams of white chocolate and emulsify it with a hand blender. Then pour it into a brusher. Now remove the cremeaux from the mold and transfer them on a plateau. Then brush the cremeaux with a thin layer of the chocolate. I always brush outside because otherwise your kitchen will be totally covered with white chocolate. Once brushed Transfer the crema on a plate and place the blackberry ring in the middle. Then cut a couple of blackberries in half and glaze them with the pine tree syrup. Now pipe some of the blackberry gel on half of the crema and place the sablé on top. Pipe a couple of dots of the gel on top and place the blackberries in between. Pipe some more gel on top and place the meringue on the gel. Then decorate with sorrel flowers and small sorrel leaves. And finish it off with a nice canal of the blackberry ice cream. This is such a great effect and your guests will love it. Okay guys, that's it for today. Uh, I must say the dessert looks amazing. I'm especially really pleased with the blackberry chocolate. Um, making it was really cool to do, it was the first time for me. I had so much uh, dried blackberry left that I thought, okay, what can I do with this? So then I came up with making my own chocolate and adding a little bit of the blackberry, uh, the dried blackberry um, for color, flavor and it looks really cool. Um, so let's just dig in. I'm sure the flavor will be amazing. I tasted a lot of the ice cream and it was really, really good. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. It's super fresh, super flavorful. It has, um, <coughs> sorry, it has some creaminess from the creme. It has crispiness, uh, the broth when you cut it into it. Really cool gimmick for your guests because they're gonna be like, yeah, they're gonna cut into it, and the, the broth is gonna be uh, pouring out of the, the the chocolate. Really cool. Um, it has all the right textures. The flavor is there. It has a light note of basil, which is really really nice. And yeah, it's just really fresh, and I must say the. The pine tree shoots, you can taste them. In the beginning I wasn't able to taste them because it was all blackberry, blackberry. But now the pine tree kicks in and it's really, really nice. So really pleased with it and I hope you guys liked it as well. If you did, please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video. And yeah, well subscribe if you want to see more amazing cooking videos and support my channel. And as always, Bon appétit